Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, been upgrading our robots a little bit, our robots, getting their uh, armor up to a decent level. I was hitting the wrong buttons. Wow, it's been a bit. <laughs> it has been a hot minute. Alright, um... He is still not all the way there, but that's because uh, the armor that I want to equip him with, he's not quite able to do yet. But it will be soon, I am sure. So, um, for now we'll just sit on it. Didn't mean to do that, <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's all fine. Alright, um... Oh, I haven't updated uh, Zalbar's uh, levels, like, at all. Yeesh. Okay. Well, I should probably do that. There we go. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Yay! Button shenanigans. Okay. Um... Let's go with that. Up awareness. That should do it. Feats. Mm -hmm. I've never invested any into toughness with him. I should start now. Um, more into strength, because why not? It's basically his biggest and strongest stat. <laughs> Alright, and... Maybe more into repair? Dump some more into there? Why not? I don't see why not. Alright, and he is definitely going to be carrying the Baca Ceremonial Blade. Because that is just how that works. Uh, upgradable. Uh, not sure how much, though. Um, okay. Okay. I can't equip him with anything there, and nothing there. Then there's no point doing that with that, because uh, he is equipped and skilled in single weapon fighting, so there's no reason to be doing anything like that. Okay, so, um, why not? There's no ability to for her, so fuck it. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's all I really needed to do. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I can do. Anywho, I'm just going to wander away now. Gonna continue exploring. Oh, well, this is definitely the Sith area. Hi there. Only people who have business with the Sith are allowed inside the embassy. Does the business including uh, destroying you count? Because I could say that, I guess. I'll be Go. going now. Stay. Doesn't matter to me. If you want to, you can even wander up to the embassy gates. <laughs> but don't expect to get inside. Well, I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I figured I'd try it. <laughs> Just wanted to see how it would go. Alright. Now that we've done that, we've talked to them. We'll go back down here. And what shall we do? Well, that's a door I haven't opened yet. So there's probably a, something I can do here. Maybe. Possibly. Swoop registration. <gasps> There's swoop racing here. Oh my good golly goodness. Okay. Vec. Greetings, human. Have you come here to watch the swoop races? I find they are an excellent way to relieve stress. And in my business, I need all the stress relief I can get. Um, okay. I'm going to take your word on that. Who are you? 
My name is Vec. I work for Itharak Goldar, a merchant who deals in very rare and expensive art. He serves as the go-between for buyers and sellers throughout the galaxy. I serve as Itharak's security advisor, a highly demanding job. The fact that Itharak seems to delight in insulting and berating me makes it even more difficult. You're wearing a Sith uniform. Are you with the Sith? To be honest, no. Not really. I just wear this uniform to gain respect. People are less likely to give me trouble if they think I might be with the Sith. So that's how you play it, alright. Don't you think the Sith might take exception to that? Well, maybe. I guess. But the Sith here on Manan aren't about to do anything to get them in trouble. Not if it means getting sanctions against their culto shipments. As long as I don't actually say I'm with the Sith, they don't seem to mind. So I use this outfit to give me the psychological edge I need. Being Itharax's security advisor isn't easy. Well, I mean, I guess I could see how that could be stressful. You can't even begin to imagine how hard it is dealing with the galaxy's cultural elite. They're like spoiled children, throwing tantrums, tantrums whenever they don't get their way. So like the normal rich in the real world, right? And Itharak is the worst of them all. You idiot, Vec. How could you be so stupid, Vec? He thinks my job is easy, but I'd like to see where he'd be without me. I'm, I'm sorry for that outburst. I come here to relax, but just talking about work is making me tense. So allow me to wish you a civil good day so I can get back to watching the racers. Understandable, and I can't blame him in the slightest. Dealing with rich people all day would also make me on edge in wanting to throttle them. That's usually my natural state anyway. Okay, so moving on from that statement, let's uh, talk to you, Xena. What do you want? If you aren't a racer, you're nobody, so just leave me alone. Wow! Queedle? That's a hell of a name. Hello there. You probably want to talk to the professional racers. They are in the racer's lounge, the room just to the east. They don't usually associate with amateur racers like me. I'll probably be giving up soon anyway. <laughs> wow, some of these answers. Wow. I just want to ask a few questions. I'll answer what I can. I don't think I'll be going back out on the track. Do you know much about Manan? Well, I've lived here for more than 10 years. I've worked the big purification and processing plants here after leaving my home world of Ando. In all that time, I've learned very little about the Selkath and their way of life. They don't like off-worlders much, even if their politics are neutral. I can't get used to the Sith presence here, but everyone is interested in Manan to some degree. It's all because of the Kulto. Well, what do you know about the Kulto? I know that you need it to make medpacks, and I know Manan is the only place to get it that Manan is misspelled. That's all anyone knows, I think. Have the Sith been a problem? No, but it's unnerving to have them here, especially after what happened on Terrace. The swoop circuit was really hurt by that, I'm sure you know. That's fair. How about you and racing? Me? No one is interested in me. I'm just Quedal Molto, one of the many failing amateur swoop racers. Is Manan a good course for racing? I don't know. It's been hard to keep up with the professional racers. Maybe it's the course, or maybe it's me. I'm not doing very well. I haven't raced anywhere else, but I'd probably do just as bad on another track. Damn. I thought I was bad. Self-deprecating myself. Jesus. <laughs> How long have you been at this? Not long, but I don't know how much more time I'll be putting in. I think I've gone as far as I can go. What do you mean by that? I'm not getting any better out there. I race hard, and I think I have good skills, but I just can't afford to keep up with the professionals. Their swoop bikes are modified with the best equipment. There's only so much you can do with a borrowed toolkit and standard parts. I can't afford to make this my life. I want to keep going, but without money, you don't win. And if you don't win, you don't get money. How much do you think you need? It's not your problem to worry about. I shouldn't even be bothering you with this. The 500 credits I need is my problem, not yours. There is no way you can earn that money? 
I saved all my wages from the processing plant to buy my swoop in the first place. I just don't have anything to spare. Well, I'll give it to you. You're just giving me 500 credits? Just like that? I don't know what to say. I'd have to save for months to get anywhere near that much. Thank you. I mean it. I'll get to them working on my swoop right away. Maybe I can improve on my round one time after all. Come back to East Otto in a day or so and after the changes are made. I hope it helps. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'm just not good enough. I guess we'll see. Alright. See you around the track. I'm a nice guy. Yay. That's a fucking name. Silveth. There's no vowels in that fucking name. What the fuck? How am I supposed to pronounce it? Whatever. Slamoth. <laughs> Slamoth. Okay. At least your name I can pronounce. Because it has a couple of vowels in there. Super precious only. Well, I can talk to you people. I mean, I can go in here anyway. Swoop Records Panel. Quedal Multo. No past ranking. Personal records private. Best course time is 2382. That ain't too bad. Hukta Jax. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. Off world records lost. That seems shady. Sector champion. Personal records private. Best course time is 2250. Well, that's better than Queedle. Just barely. Uh, Cassandra Matiel. I think that's how you pronounce it. Matiel. Fuck it, whatever. Off world records lost. 2325. So Hukta Jax is currently the uh, big leader guy. Fair enough. Exit interface. Okay. Oh. Wait. You mean to tell me that a Gamorian has the best time on this map? That's what you mean to tell me. Okay. All right. I guess I'll believe it. I guess. Not like I have a choice. Okay, let's talk to Cassandra here. What do you want? I don't waste time oh, with fans. Basic. So if this is about an auto print, forget it. You can buy one when I get more made up. Leave me alone. I need time to prepare for my races. Damn. I just want to ask a few questions. Well, get it over with. Jesus. Do you know much about Manon? I know that if you do absolutely anything wrong, you get locked up. Seems like finding criminals is a great way to bring in the credits. I'm surprised they even let us race. Wouldn't want the crowds to get too excited. Excitement makes people unpredictable or something. <laughs> so you don't think too highly of the Manan government and how they uh, run their planet. Okay, fair enough. Uh, how about you and racing? Of course you do. Everyone wants time with the fabulous Cassandra Matil. There just isn't enough of me to go around. Matil, okay. Is Manana a good course for racing? It was, but I can't seem to get a break lately. Hukta has been holding me off, and all he does is run over everything. But this place is all there is, until the circuit recovers from the loss of Taris. It's going to take a while. Geez, there are no other tracks? Not within reasonable traveling time. I heard there was a startup on Tatooine, but I'll stick with the legitimate tracks. Thank you very much. What do you mean by that? Pots aren't to be trusted, that's all I'll say. That's fair. How long have you been at this? Two years. But that's more than enough time to know the secrets behind the sport. It's all about the image you portray. Uh-huh. What do you mean by that? Hukta is the thug. People like him because he's mean. I'm the pretty one. The one that people want to take home. Even mm -hmm. if we don't win, we're easy to remember. That keeps the fans coming back. So race organizers want us at their tracks. Uh, Local racers fair. don't bring in off-world crowds. They need us. At least they would if there was still a functioning circuit. Yeah, I get that. 
Can you tell me <laughs> tell me about the other racers? Kuta Jax is the only other professional here besides me. He got where he is by making sure everyone knows he's the toughest racer out there. I don't know any of the other racers. I guess there's Quido, the local favorite. He won't amount to much. What makes you say that? You need money to compete. Maybe he's got some skills, but he just doesn't have the best bike. It's that simple. Okay. Yes, yes, hurry it up. Damn, girl, I'm leaving. Bye. Don't hurry back. Okay, damn. I guess I have to beat her on the track before she starts acting right. Who is you? Hmm? Hunter Jax, that's me. Says you should step back, because pro racers like me are important. So you leave me alone so I so's I can get race ready. It's important. Meditation and stuff. Right. You believe in meditation. Aha. Right. I just want to ask a few questions. Yeah, okay. But you keep it short. I got no reason to talk to you. Okay. Do you know much about Manan? I know that if you do any absolutely anything wrong, you get locked up. Seems like finding criminals is a great way to bring in the credits. I'm surprised that you... Okay, she, he's just saying the same shit that she said. Exactly the same thing. Okay. Okay, maybe I say something, or maybe not. Hook to Jax, don't give secrets out. I asked about his racing. I kind of skipped that because I was flabbergasted that he said the exact same thing that she said about the fucking planet. Is Manana a good course for racing? This track is pretty good. It's too wet, but it's on the ocean, so you're gonna have that. Better to hit waves than rocks, I guess. This track is all there is until the circuit is up again. Taurus took the best racers. I suppose there is Tatooine. What's wrong with Tatooine? I'm not going back to Tatooine ever. Hook to Jax is better than that dust ball. When were you there? That's none of you's business, and you stop asking about it. You stop. Alright. Touchy subject. Okay. How long have you been at this? Lots of years. I got my swoop after we raided... I mean, got my swoop when somebody left it to me. It was sad, but happy too. What do you mean by that? Nothing. And I'm not saying anymore. Gotcha. He stole the bike, and uh, he's been racing ever since. Gotcha. What can you tell me about the other racers? I just know that I'm better than all the rest. I'd be better. I'd be better even with the more pros here. Okay, I misread that sentence. Cassandra's okay, but she is weak and little. Queedle is here too, but he doesn't got what we got. What do you mean? He doesn't have the best swoop. He can have skills all over the floor, but if his swoop goes slow, he goes slow, and he goes slow. Okay. Bye. Uh, bye bye. Yeah, you go then. And leave me alone. Okay. Uh, Slamoth, it's up to you. Greetings to you, Offworlder. Are you here as a spectator, or will you be entering the swoop field as a contender? Um, can you help me with information? I'm sorry, but I'm sure there are others that will have plenty of what you need. My duty is my duty is to organize the races, and I pay attention to little else. Of course, with the destruction of Taurus, we're in a bit of a rebuilding phase. Our sector champion was one of the casualties there. Oof. That sucks. I won the season opener on Taurus. I hesitate to believe that. Sith interference disrupted any hollow feed that might have verified your story. We only know that all on Taurus were lost. You are welcome to prove your skill here, regardless of experience. The course is open to any that have the means to participate. 100 credits must be paid for each officially timed attempt that you make. This amount will be due before each race. Uh, I want to talk about the rewards. Races on the Manan course are organized in the Collectic Standard three-round system. Each round pays differently. Tatooine used tiers instead of rounds. Why the difference? Tatooine is not recognized, and won't be, while Mata insists on refusing to accept Galactic Standards. When the circuit is re-established, he will fall in line. Here on Manan, round one is the domain of hobbyists and amateurs. I mean no disrespect by that. They just can't afford the faster swoops yet. 
Round two is populated by the beginner touring racers. They have decided to invest in the sport and are attempting to make it pay. Round three is usually only attainable by seasoned professionals. There have been exceptions, but only rarely. rarely. I can talk, really, I can't. What does each round pay? Round one pays 500 credits. Round two play, pays 2,000 credits. Round three is 5,000 credits. These are relatively standard values for the sport. Each round is paid out only once per tournament. The leader that shows dominance in all three is named Sector Champion. Describe the current crop of racers. Sparse. Taurus took a great many good racers with it when it was destroyed, including our sector champion, Sakul Ondandanax. That's a hell of a name. Currently, our biggest attractions are Cassandra Mateel and Bukta Dax. They are our only touring professionals present for this tournament. But even with such an auspicious competition, Queedle is the racer getting the biggest responses. He is a local favorite and very talented. Let's go back to the other questions. Certainly, I'm always accommodating to the racers. Uh, I'm ready to race? Very well, but before we place your swoop in the starting position, I must collect the 100 credit fee. Lowering the fee would encourage new racers. I would tend to agree. We already have a number of racers that are struggling. I will drop the fee to 50 credits. I'll pay that. Very good, Offworlder. Now we must determine what time you will be trying to beat. Let's have a look at the standings. Queedle is a local favorite, but this won't be much of a race. His swoop simply isn't professional quality. Time to beat, 23.82. Manan Swoop Racing fans, we have a race about to commence. Show your respect as the newcomer challenges Queedle for round one placing. Well... Here's hoping I remember what to do. Okay, so I'm going to need to concentrate something fierce. It's been a hot minute and a half since I did this shit. Oopsie doodle. I hit something on the way there, so... Yep. Okay, well... The hitting something fucked me. Just barely. All right, all right, all right. Jesus. I suck, I get it. God. <laughs> I just have to rub it in. Jesus. I'm rusty, all right? I'm rusty. That was unfortunate. Your performance just now was not of very high quality. You will need to improve. Ow! Ooh! Oh! My pride! If I had any! <laughs> I'm rusty! Okay! Jesus! Alright, I'm ready to race. Your persistence is admirable after your last race being such a disappointment. First, I must ask that you pay the 100 credits racing fee. Alright. Very good, Offworlder. Now we must determine what time you'll be trying to beat. Uh... What? Cassandra Mateel is your opponent for this round. Her time of 23.25 remains a respectable mark to beat. Wait, what? Attempting to unseat Cassandra Mateel? I didn't even unseat the other guy. What are you talking about? Jesus, I hit the button. That was stupid. Need to make sure not to hit anything. Oh, come on. Ow, oh, well, I beat the other one. I didn't. Come on! <laughs> I don't know why you were making me go after Cassandra. I didn't even beat Queedle. Ah, thank you for telling me what I already know. Okay, I'll pay the fee. 
Okay, now you let me beat. Now you just stick with Cassandra. Okay, that's fine. I got close enough this time. Got close enough the last time I might actually beat it this time. There we go. Did it. <laughs> okay. Now I get to salute and now I get cheers. All right. Okay. Winners of the first round are paid 500 credits. It's enough to cover your expenses, but you'll have to keep racing to really make it pay. We'll record this for future reference and wish you well on your attempt to reach Sector Champion. Uh, I'm ready to race. Okay, well, it's 100 credits. Hukta Jax is your opponent now. His time of 22.50 is your mark. I trust you are ready. Manon Race Fans, a new contender now addresses the time of Hukta Jax. A race to end all races, beginning now. Hoping I don't hit anything. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to beat it. I'm not hitting a goddamn thing. Hey, we did it! <laughs> Just dancing. <laughs> Alright. A second round win is worth 2,000 credits to you. Many racers bow out when they reach this level. But I have a feeling you won't. The next round of races will determine sector champion. You'll have to be flawless to achieve that. Uh, I'll be back later. Very well. I will tell our organizers to have the course ready for your return. Net change credits, 2,150. Hoy. Okay. Hello there. Are you looking to book the swoop course for a practice run? There will be a small positioning fee of 20 credits to have your swoop bike readied. Uh, why is there a fee? We find that racers are more careful when they are funding the course with each race. Besides, we must defray maintenance costs somehow. And please, no haggling. I'm not authorized to give a discount, even if I wished to. No, thanks. I just want to check what the, uh, ratings are now, because I figured that, uh, it would be a little more different than that if I beat Hukta Jax. Queedle is 2240 Eight. Just barely beat Hukta Jax. And that was after I gave him the money to beat the beat them. Damn. All right, Cassandra. You're really annoying. You know that? Oh yeah. I hate it when people come out of nowhere and start collecting wins. Wah. <laughs> Again? Ugh. I just kind of wanna. Can you tell me about the other races? Hukta Jax is the only other professional here. The only other name I know is Queedle. You heard about him taking it all, right? I don't know where he got the speed from. That was me, actually. I, I paid for that. <laughs> don't hurry back. Will not. Hey, Hukta. How's it going, buddy? Go away. You and me, we don't have anything to say about nothing. Go beat someone else's time or something. Uh... I want to ask you about the other racers. I just know that I am better than all the rest. I'd be better even with more pros here. Cassandra's okay, but she is weak and little. There's Queedle, too, but he is the worst. I mean, what is he doing winning at all? That's just not right. He's not pro. Well, I mean, he's close enough to pro now, now that I paid for it. Bye. Yep, putts. Let's talk to Queedle. Hello again. I still can't believe the difference a few upgrades make. My score is top of round three. I never thought I'd be able to do that. 
Before I go any further, though, I have to return the money you gave me. The prize I won covered most of it. Thank you. I knew you could do well. You did? I didn't. I was worried the whole time. I didn't believe it until I heard my name. My time, as well. Thank you again for all of this. I have to leave now. Goodbye. Thank you for the credits back, and I will reinvest that into beating your time. Hopefully. So far, I'm doing well. This will be an exciting race, I think. You are going against Queedle's new time of 22.48. He's a solid crowd favorite now. Attention fans, a new contender will now face the time set by your resident champion, Queedle. Excitement is guaranteed. Alright. I have to make sure I time this really well. Alright. And we're good. Alright. One ninety-two. Eat my shorts. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Little dance again. Hell yeah. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Greetings, Sector Champion. You have proven to be a spectacular racer, even defeating Queedle's improved time. You have won a great deal of money. The payment for becoming Sector Champion is 5,000 credits. That will be the last amount offered for now. When we begin a new round of races, we will make certain you are notified. Uh, I want to talk about the rewards. You have already achieved the pinnacle of the sport, and you can't earn any more at this time. You'll be notified when more races are scheduled. Okay, I'll be back later. Ha-ha! 4,900 credits. Booyah! <laughs> Greetings to you, Sector Champion. That was an amazing time you turned in. The best I've seen on this track. I don't feel bad losing to you now that I know I'm in the running. Thanks for your help, even if you did win it all in the end. <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm surprised I did. <laughs> I was so rusty, shit. But I did well. I did well, compared to my usual bullshit. Uh... Yeah, I will have to leave now. Goodbye. See you around the track. Let's see if these little shits uh, want to keep talking smack. Well, hello, Sector Champion. You must be proud right now. I am. You'll excuse me if I don't join in with cheers of my own. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have to leave. Don't Goodbye. Hurry back. Well, <laughs> I might. Just to rub it in more. Grr, Sector Champion. Well, that is very nice. Now, how about you go away? I got to work on waterproofing my swoop. Fair enough. I'm leaving. Bye. Yeah, you go then and leave me alone. And what is... It shows my personal results. Sector Champion. Best course time, 2192. <laughs> and that was also the last course time. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man oh man wow you're like so great i can't believe you actually spoke to me like wow wow her demeanor certainly changed congratulations on winning the manan championship i do enjoy watching your races human it makes a nice break from the hectic world i must deal with every day in my business then I shall return my attention to the track. Goodbye, human. I don't know what I saw zoom in the background, but that was weird. It was really weird. Okay. Well, I won the swoop races here. <laughs> that was actually a nice little feather in my cap for that. Um, hmm. Other than that, I don't know what else I can do in this sector. Rather, at, in this section of Auto City. So, I guess I'll just go back to East Central Courtyard. Alrighty.
Mm hmm. How's it going? The Sith continue to befoul the beauty of this watery world, but otherwise I'm keeping well. Ah, glad to hear it. Hey, this stuff's all for the Republic Embassy, so can you just bill it to them? Of course, good soldier. I trust the Republic to pay its bills completely. Damn. It's quite a difference between the two of them. How their shops have to operate. Come in, come in. You honor my humble store with your presence. All of Manan has heard tell of your glorious swoop writing exploits. I carry many other choice items of the highest quality. Items a celebrity of your stature might be interested in. Let me see what you have. As you wish, human. My inventory contains the finest Aerotech equipment you can find on Manan. All of it far superior to the Zerka Core Swill that Sith are so fond of. I was about to say the Shith. <laughs> that would have been funnier, honestly. <laughs> uh, just a little bit, though. Okay. And nothing that particularly catches my eye, honestly. At least not yet. All right. I just came from there. So, where do I go <laughs> to do more stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, this is West Central Courtyard. I guess I can go this way. That's an option. I guess. What, what quest do I have going on here? Hmm. Republic Embassy. Okay. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of stuff with the Juno Haradin. Um. I probably. To make sure I get this done. I should probably go back to Dantooine. Considering I'm struggling finding a thing to do anyway. I should probably go back to Dantooine and finish that thing. Wait. D oh, they're finally gone. Oh, they're finally gone. Yeah, what do you want? Ah, nothing Your more choice. for now. They're finally all gone. <laughs> okay. Back to Dantooine we go. It's uh, Huh. Point to a small space station orbiting the gas giant Yavin. I don't remember that being a thing. Huh. Is this... Is this a DLC thing that I'm unaware of? Because I never did it? Did they add the DLC after all? <laughs> and I just never knew? Okay, well, I'm gonna get shot at, probably. By the sound of this music. Yep. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Well. Time for a defensive position. Incoming fire. Yep. Oh, geez. There we go. I got one. Gotcha, bitch. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, you little shits. Get back here. Which ones are? Which one of you is gonna do a pass? Oh, shit. I 
hit. Target you from there, you little shit ass. Oh fuck, the sun is in my eyes so bad. Can't see nothing. Okay, I'm coming. Haha! Booyah. And onwards I go towards Yavin. A place I have never been before. And I'm not sure what it's for. I really don't know. I'm mildly confused as to what it could be. Show me can one I of the visions? We... I didn't know that was a thing we could do. How can I help? I didn't can want I suggest we move that. On. What do you need? Do you want to talk? Talk about what? The only I'll understand okay. if we can. That's fair. Since we're here right now, maybe I can get more out of Jihani? How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Uh I guess of nothing. Course. Okay. So, nothing we can do right now, and we now have something on Yavin that I have no idea how it goes at all. So, uh, this is new to me. This is very new to me. We'll go on to Dantooine after this. I just want to see what is going on here, because I didn't even know we could go to Yavin. Um, hmm. interesting, very interesting, but for now, I'm going to end this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video and share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only stray cat playing games and beating the swoop races just straight to shit. Just beaten every racer there on Manan, and now we're onward towards uh, Yavin, which is a detour from Dantooine, which I was going to do, but then I discovered Yavin was a thing, and I'm kind of curious how that will go for you.